God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, and we'll begin reading at verse 19. And it says, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus saith unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. Praise God um, for the word of God today. And praise God for today being Wednesday, for it is a prayer day here at The Encouraging Word. And um, we want to focus on a couple of scriptures and then pray briefly um, uh, for something that is so important. And that is for us as believers to pray believing. Amen. Uh, we have to believe. We just can't do things um, that we believe God would have us to do with doubt in our mind or in our hearts. We must believe. And in this story here, um, there was a young boy who was possessed by a demon, and the disciples could not cast that demon out. And they asked Jesus, why couldn't we cast him out? And Jesus answered plain in verse number 20. He said, because of your unbelief. And if we look in Matthew chapter 21, at verse number 22, Jesus says this, he says, All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Amen. It's so important that not simply that we pray, but that we pray believing. Because if we have unbelief within us, as Jesus uh, said to the disciples, there are going to be things that we should be able to do in the power of God, but that we won't do or can't do. And so right now in your life, there's something that you've been praying for and the Lord is saying yes, but you need to believe what you're praying for. And remember what the uh, Father said here uh, when Jesus uh, said, how long has this happened to the boy? And uh, he said, from, from, a, from a youth. And the father admitted something. He says, Lord, I believe, but help me with my unbelief. We have to get unbelief out, and we have to believe. And right now, you're praying for something, and you've been praying for something for a while, but you're having trouble believing. Jesus said, if you pray believing, then you will have what you ask for. So today, our prayer is going to be very simple. We're going to pray for believing hearts. Amen. And like the, that, that dear father, we're going to say to the Lord, help me with my unbelief. Because if we believe what we're praying for, then we will have what we ask of God. So let's just simply pray this prayer. Father, we bless you right now. And we thank you, God, that all things are possible with you. And all things are possible to those who believe. Yes. And Father, like the father of this demon-possessed boy, Sometimes, Lord, we have trouble with unbelief, yes. with fear, with doubt, with skepticism. Lord, we ask you to forgive us, O oh God, for all those times that we have not believed you. Yes. And Father, on this day, we ask you, O oh God, to fill us with your faith. Jesus, we thank you. You are the author and the finisher yes. of our faith. Now, help us to believe. Help us to believe your word. Help us to believe when we lift up our hearts unto you in prayer that yes. you hear us. Yes. And Father, if you hear us, God, we know that you will grant us the petitions we desire of you. So God, we're asking you simply on today, help us, dear God, yes. to believe you at a greater level. Help us, dear God, to believe you, oh God, despite the circumstances, despite yes. the odds, despite yes. the obstacles, despite yes. the naysayers. Father, we simply ask you on this day yes. to help us to believe. Yes. We thank you now for it. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now go forward believing today. Amen. Forget what things look like. Remember Abraham. Amen. The father of our faith. Amen. He was he was as good as dead. And he said he it says he considered not his own body, 
Amen. He simply believed the Lord, that he would be the father of many nations, and God fulfilled the promise. So you continue to believe, despite the circumstances, continue to believe God and let him fulfill the promise in your life. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails.